So, we probably want to test out our launch escape system is one thing at least. M may tell you what, toggle off the... Toggle this off as well. Shut down engine when we do the custom group one. Uh, this... Hmm. Uh, no. I mean, th this still doesn't have a decoupler, actually. So... Uh, we can't get rid of it after uh, uh, after uh, we have uh, made a successful launch, but maybe there's no need to. I mean, we designed these parachutes with uh, these on board there. Let's go simulate some. We might... Uh, the... On runway, there's no, not uh, a delay when uh, uh, it doesn't need to be hauled to the launch pad. Uh, there's that uh, pro for that, for using that. Okay, so what is the button for uh, uh, using the action group number one? Uh, is it just one? Is it F1? Is it shift one? Is it... We'll figure it out. Wait a minute. It's Z for that. I mean. Badaya, prepare yourself. And then. If we, for example, had something bad happen right now, yes, it is one if that we do that. Uh, uh, parachutes, parachutes, does it deploy the parachutes, actually? We may want to use the action group number two, deployment awaiting a negative vertical velocity. There we go. We have, uh, yes, every single parachute has deployed. That seems to have worked out. Well, pre-deployed. Uh, and now they are deploying. Uh, have they, those deployed? I think they have. We are down to 6.5 meters per second, which is very, very fine. Can we... Yeah, we can't get rid of this launch escape system if we don't have any kind of... A, uh, any kind of... Also, we should maybe stop the simulation. We already know that it'll be fine. Yeah. That was simulation number one. Uh, then we'll do, like... Uh, another simulation. It'll be for... Getting up to, like... 150, uh, let's say 200 uh, kilometers, something like that. We uh, Let's say we forget to uh, shut down our engine and uh, we just plummet to our doom straight up, straight down. That's uh, the scenario number two. Why? Uh, that, uh, that launch does look that great but we salvaged it and besides we have that uh, launch uh, that thing there we have safety a margin of safety which is un unheard of Jebediah do you want to do an EVA uh, cannot disembark while uh, off Kirby's service service Please launch quicker. Actually, we can launch it quicker. And now it's de deviating, of course. Oh, 
Oh, don't deviate, of course. We need some more stability for this. It's... Okay, okay, that's fair enough. We, uh, we'll add some stability for this. It's not good enough to have just have it wingless. Okay, our... Our tests are actually uh, giving us some uh, valuable data. So, how about these Delta Deluxe winglets? Is that excessive? Nah. Ah, yes, and we can't EVA because we don't have that astronaut complex. Thing. Can we EVA while uh, on the launch pad or whatever? I mean, we might want to test where, whether we can uh, get back into it if we want to do a uh, surface, whatever, I don't know. Would we want some kind of a, an astronaut complex upgrade right now? It might be an idea. How long would it take? Can you do an EVA? Cannot disembark... Ah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's working out, I think. Inventory, non-region, scrubber, data, empty, semi-deploy, parachute... Like, we don't get any. The experiments tell you nothing you didn't already know. Now let's climb on board. And let's see if the adding those Delta Deluxes was enough. Or well, whether we'll plummet to our doom even faster. It seems we are going pretty straight up. Yeah, yeah. What's our max Q? It's... Uh, we are... Pretty much... Closing in on it. 31 kPa. It was 31 kPa. I don't think there were any atmospheric effects. So it's... It's a pretty good launcher, I think. This... So, 58, uh, 75, 80, 90, 100 kilometers, that would be past the common line, but this is not what we are doing that time. We are uh, uh, doing the worst case scenario, straight up, straight down, and uh, forgetting all sorts of stuff. Uh, like, just how high can we go before we plunge into our doom. Let's say, would th 300 kilometers be uh, good enough? Like, let's say 350, it, it'll be fine. I'm, I want a capsule that can survive uh, 350 kilometers straight up, straight down. Let's say that. Uh, would that be a, a good enough margin of, for error? Hmm. Uh, like... Let's decouple like that one and then... Uh, I think the uh, action group number two is for... Uh, we'll like wait until we are in atmosphere or whatever and then we'll... Uh, pr try pressing that one again and even do it manually just it, it would be pretty nice if we, we'll actually be able to uh, make it work with just the action uh, group uh, we might want to go for that idea it's it says it's they are blue here so maybe it worked yeah uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'll give it a shot. The first stop is 25, 20 kilometers. And unless, unless I, where, where will this deploy? 
does it tell me? Uh, deployment in diameter. Deployment altitude 700 meters. That's a bit low. Pre deployment altitude 30,000 meters. No! No, that's not right. Uh, a disarm parachute. You shall not deploy first uh, those ones. Uh, real shoots. Always uh, doing stuff like that. Can't I have like default settings for them? Uh, that would be nice. Now, 350 kilometers straight up, straight down. Can we survive? I don't think you can EVA here, nope. It would be nice if you could. Well, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. No, we can't. We don't have any control. RCS. RCS, give me... I want, don't want to be pointing anywhere else, but... Straight... Straight at our retrograde. There. Does it deploy even if our astronaut loses consciousness? Look at this G Force counter here. As well. We are on fire. G Force is right. Oh, he's losing consciousness. Lose, lost consciousness. We survived that part of the thing. Will they aren't deploying? They aren't deploying. Disarm parachute. Cut me. Now, yes, it deployed. One of them deployed. Then you are now uh, back back with us, Jebediah. I would like these to also uh, pre-deploy. It seems that you are safe, Jebediah, which is danger. There is no more electric charge on uh, it will be fine. That might be something I might also want to have a look at. Shielding, it has some of its own shielding. Just how much did we lose? Ablator 200. Sh charred ablator. We had plenty more than we needed. We did uh, a whole lot of records, in fact, uh, during that. Uh, it's not real, though. Unfortunately. Yeah, and they have uh, uh, fully deployed now. Okay, I think th that Jebediah would be would survive, even though we launched uh, 350 kilometers straight up, straight down. Okay, but I want a flawless launch before I will risk Jebediah's life on this. Flawless launch up to 350 kilometers. Okay. The things that we need to... No, no, no. Need to... Uh, fix. This one uh, is still... Uh, has all the correct stats still. Pre-deployment altitude, not 30,000 kilometers, no, not kilometers, meters. Let's say you have a pre-deployment altitude of 6,000 meters and you have a pre-deployment altitude of 3,000 meters. Uh, so 
Nah, that's dumb. Let's have uh, both of them be for a thousand meters. Deployment altitude. Uh, let's say we... I want to play it safe. What if we came to a mountain or whatever, I don't know. We probably might want like a thousand then. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing fixed. Another thing with what we might want to do is electric charge, just in case. I mean, one never knows what... We don't want this par uh, these things. They are expensive and what's not. We aren't up in the air for that long. Diameter, two meters. Uh, even though it's a bit dumb to have it there, it'll be, it'll be such a tiny like that. It has 11... Why did it use the electric charge so quickly? This has 48,600 electric, electric charge. Um, so, let's say we had a fair bit more of a margin. I mean, we are just going, going straight up, straight down. And hmm. yeah, yeah, that might work. Does we might want to uh, do another another test of the launch escape system? Can it handle all the new weight? Uh, I don't know. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Let's see here, uh, science, communication, I mean, one of, one of those things had communication. Does the pod have communication? It, lifting surface, pressure control, RC, yes. It's, it was actually, came in handy that it had RC, yes. R. There's so, so much. We might want to not have all that uh, ablator like. It's so heavy. I'm betting you will have a whole lot of extra even if we go down to 40. Uh, yeah. Uh, whatever my battery added, I think uh, we regained from uh, cutting down on the ablator, so I think uh, the launch escape is going to be able to handle it as as well as the parachutes. How about my action groups? Did we learn anything that we might want to uh, do with those? Launch escape decoupler LR105 series. Do we deploy these though at that stage? Maybe? Arming them is fine, but it's not really these drogue shoots that are going to save our lives uh, in the uh, very end. Anyway, I just want ha to have that one extra tiny bit of margin for error thing. Yeah, we'll test it like the this. 
They can deploy whenever they feel like, I suppose. Right? Yeah. But th that's kind of dumb, though. They m might not... We'll... We'll try to uh, grow out of... Uh, not have... Grow not have any extra steps that uh, might, we might regret later on uh, here. Right. And this is my fallback if all goes wrong. We'll deploy all shoots. Deploy all shoots if all goes wrong button here. Okay, that is going to be fine, I'm sure. Yeah. It will not, not be our first sacrifice, Shepardiah. Because it will be... Uh, what's the... Valentina, yes. That, that's the other, other pilot. Uh. Okay. This time we'll try to go for uh, 350 uh, kilometers. Again. Again, yes. So if we just press those few buttons, uh, it seems like this launch is going to go well. But we still have that launch escape in case um, something does, does happen. By the way, there there are some might be some kind of an Easter egg that uh, there's some kind of a, another launch pad or whatever in uh, some kind of an island. I don't remember. I don't know which one, but it's somewhere nearby. Still, uh, kind of. Ah, we are closing in our, on our 360. Yeah, that, that will work. So, please give me that. I want to be pointed straight up. And we still have that launch escape as well, we, so we can give a bit of a boost as well, if uh, we feel like it. Uh, just a tiny bit of an extra boost if we... Uh, Really feel feel like we are doomed. Otherwise, w what is it doing now? I wonder. It might be some kind of an F. F. Let's try random F keys. F twelve. What does it do? Aerodynamic forces overlay enabled. Disabled. Temperature overlay enabled. Disabled. Temperature gorgeous. All enabled, I suppose. Cannot quick load in this. Uh, yeah, we might not want to. Uh, how about F1? What does that do? Nothing. F2. Ah, F2 does this. Good, I don't need to uh, f find out from um, anywhere dumb like. So you are not pointing in, in the correct di direction, but... Uh, what if we even uh, even said that we forgot to uh, point it straight down? We just forgot to and Jebediah is, is, is going to uh, lose his consciousness and then all will be lost. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty decent scenario. We'll test that, what happens then. Perfect. I'm worrying about my recording again uh, for some reason. It's uh, uh, one of these curses of being a video game commentator here. 
You constantly worry about stuff you probably don't need to. We probably want to uh, arm of those parachutes at least. Jebediah, prepare to lose consciousness. Well, the simulated Jebediah in this game. In this uh, simulation of a space program. Uh, yeah. We are coming in hot. Well, not. Yeah, now we are coming in hot. Do those actually deploy? That's my question. That tried to deploy, it didn't do so well, but. Like, we have another extra coming. It will be... F How come you use so much electric charge? Have 70,000 left. Um, it must have been that other... Uh, our launch stage thing. Now, I want to see those main shoots deploy before I can uh, declare declare this a success and maybe we'll even go st all the way down to the surface uh, this time I mean it's only a couple more minutes it'll be fine Four point five meters per second. Um, like you, some principia physics warp, sure. Not twenty five times. Actually, it's it seems to be okay. Five times now. I'm kind of scared for whatever reason. Here. I only have those two tracks for uh, the, this, but uh, whatever, right? Nothing that we didn't already know. Oh well. Well, it was our first simulated EVA <laughs> on somewhere else than the launch pad, I think. How much did this cost? 2348. Uh, it's a pretty decent cost for uh, this. Yes, I think this works. We'll just build. Relax. It will be fine. Oxygen reserves restored. Yeah, baby, at least. Uh, I would li like to think about what I want to research next as well. I mean, this capsule did survive this, but... I mean, it can survive up to 350 kilometers or whatever. So, yeah. Actually, what's the next milestone before the uh, 350? There's 200 kilometers. Before the 200 kilometers. I suppose we'll uh, try to go for 200 kilometers then, so we'll get uh, that uh, record as well for that. Yes. Yeah, yes, it will work. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking. Although now I'm feeling like we over-engineered it by giving it that uh, extra electricity thing. 
188 days for like that. It's only at zero percent. We can do these uh, do these modifications uh, there still. Now watch it destroying all of those action groups and what uh, what's not. Us doing this. How much would this be? I mean, uh, let's just save it and... I mean, any couple of days that we can shave off is probably... Are the action groups okay still? I probably should look. How much is that anyway? It is... We shaved off three days. With that. So there's that. Let's see. Uh, let's double, triple, quadruple check our action groups. Uh, no, not action groups. The, uh, that goes staging. That's what I was looking for. Those two. Those. Well, we'll probably never touch that action group anymore. Um, it might be f it might be safer if these were uh, uh, even one action group up so uh, even <sighs> now since I am here let's do it now we won't touch them uh, uh, in the any uh, uh, case of Okay. Uh, I'll build a couple of these and let's say two and uh, then I'll be... We should get something being getting researched. We can uh, get rid of these ones, those crap. Doesn't really matter, probably. And let's duplicate that. We probably want to at least. Let's see here. Research and development. What will we research now? Since it will be a bit of a waste if we don't research anything. More mature orbital rocketry might be good. I mean... Uh, mature solids. Maybe not. Solids generally aren't what I want. I mean, there's this separation motor large, which might be uh, the large. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which might be good. I'm... Uh, nah, we probably don't want the second gen capsules just yet. We probably are going to do some more unmanned missions next, so... Uh, getting the mature orbital rocketry is probably what we want to do, even though I'm not sure what what I want out from there. How about this general construction? It would give us some kind of a car cargo bay, um, cargo bay cap, container box, uh, heat shield. So these are lunar rated. We might want to, those. At some point, actually, it might be <laughs> a pretty decent idea, but maybe not right now. We'll research this and then see what uh, with what we'll do next. Yeah. So, and I think we'll just go with this launch site. Yeah. We won't even bother with any others. I purchased two more uh, points for uh, R&D. We are up to 26 science per year. Uh, still SPH is at 0 0.1 and VAB is at 0 0.6. So. Okay. Tell you what, we'll... We'll uh, 
get this done. Then I'll accept the mission. It has like a thousand days or whatever ridiculous amount it had. Uh, and uh, we can l like launch five after that. Uh, if we, uh, this doesn't go well. Even though it really would be nice if it actually worked. It really would. So I wouldn't have to launch five more. Uh, anyway, I'll start warping and uh, I'll uh, be right back.